Hi guys, um, so today I'm gonna be doing a makeup look and I found an inspiration picture online. So this is what we're going to be attempting for the eye look. So um, if you wanna see, stick around. Hi guys, all right, so today, um, like I said, we're gonna be doing a makeup look um, and I'm doing these makeup looks for you guys once a week and I'm right now trying to just trying to find inspiration from looks that I see online or, or sometimes I'll just think about like, oh, I wanna do colorful and I'll type it in or whatever. Um, and I am more than happy to do any kind of looks that you guys would like to suggest. So if you wanna um, let me know in the comments um, anything that you guys have seen that you would love for me to try, I am by no means like a professional, like artsy <laughs> makeup person. So some of some of the looks I have to work really hard to try to like recreate. And so like this look we're gonna do today, which um, is this rainbow look here, um, I think is gorgeous. And I've been seeing a lot of rainbow looks online. So I wanna try this because it kind of has glitter in it, which I love too. Um, and it's a little bit more of a softer um, rainbow look. So we're gonna give it a shot. It might be totally disastrous, but I figured I would try it with you guys. Um, so we're gonna just start with like the basics of my face and all the normal stuff that I would do. And then we're gonna go into the eye because I actually do it backwards. I do my face first and then I do my eye. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna get going on the face. The first thing I'm gonna use is my Tatcha the Silk Canvas Primer on my eyes or on my face here. And I really like this. It just kind of blurs my pores and gives me a nice um, smooth canvas to start off with. Um, I've also put on already, which I like to do about five or 10 minutes before I do my makeup, is this Alimis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil right here. Um, and it just kind of just gives a little bit of like a moisture and a dewy kind of glow to my skin before I start doing my makeup. So you just want to have like a nice, um, clean, smooth canvas. And that's why skincare is super, super important. And I plan on doing some skincare videos for you guys too, because I have really um, focused on skincare these last couple years. And my face has become drastically, drastically different and drastically better because of that. So um, it's, I always say like you can buy all the expensive, you know, makeup in the world, but if the canvas that you are starting with, if you're not taking care of that, if it's not like a, a nice quality canvas, you're not using it to it the fullest potential. So I always um, recommend skincare, like should be always be like the first and the most important thing, especially as you age. Like I'm in my thirties now and I'm having to like, I'm starting to see things in my face change. I'm starting to see things kind of start to fall and I'm seeing wrinkles in place that didn't have them and things like that. Um, just because my face is aging, and so skincare has really just become super important to me. Rant over. Um, I'm gonna be using my kind of go-to summer base is a um, tinted moisturizer versus a foundation. It's a lot more lightweight. I don't feel like I have a ton of makeup on my face. And if I do sweat a little bit of it off somewhere, it's not as noticeable because it is a lighter coverage, um, but it does a good job with um, covering up my redness. If you'll see, I'm sure you guys can see it more than I can in person, but I just um, was shaping my eyebrows before I decided to do this video because they were crazy looking. And so I get really red when I do that because I have super sensitive skin. And this covers up that red decently well. We're gonna go in with a concealer and I bought this concealer to try it out because a lot of people have been saying it's a dupe for the, um, Tarte Shape Tape and it's the e.l.f. Uh, camo concealer. So I bought one in the regular and then I bought this other new one that they have which is a hydrating camo concealer satin finish. Um, so we're gonna be using those today as our concealers. And here you guys will also notice, especially with like these tinted moisturizers and with um, concealer, I don't usually use a utensil, like a beauty utensil. Um, I will if I'm doing someone else's makeup, but on myself, I have, feel like I have the most control with my hand and I also am not losing any product really, but I do use beauty blenders with actual like true foundations. And um, if I'm doing like a thicker kind of more full glam look and I wanna be like completely covered, I would use 
a beauty blender. Um, I'm not a huge fan of foundation brushes. I just find that they get really streaky on my skin. And it could just be because I don't know how to use them properly. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows just a little bit um, and then I will uh, clean them up with a concealer before we set my face. I'm gonna like to do that just so that I can keep my eyebrows clean and everything like that. Um, eyebrows are my goal this year to really just get really good at my eyebrows because right now I'm like heavily rely on stencils and even then like I'm not really amazing at it. So I really this year want to um, work on my eyebrows. So hopefully you guys can kind of see this eyebrow journey that I'm gonna go on and we'll see what happens. I'm hoping I can figure out something. I've seen all these like cool eyebrow tattoo pencils and stuff and I'm curious about maybe trying some of that. And maybe that will make, I don't know, these are really dark. Um, and maybe that will be something, but I'm willing to try whatever, but I'm really on a mission this year to figure out how to do my Instagram eyebrows, what I'm gonna call them, because that's what they remind me of, like those perfect Instagram eyebrows that you see that you're like amazed that someone was able to do. I want th that to be me. So I'm gonna work on it. So like, I just use the same stencil, same stencil. And you guys see the difference between these? I don't understand. I don't understand. This is about as good as it gets with me and eyebrows, people, right here. And that was with a stencil and some maneuvering and fixing. It's by no means something that I am good at and it's going to be my goal. So hopefully we will get there. Maybe we can, you can join my goal with me if you struggle with eyebrows and we will go on this journey together and figure out how to do our eyebrows because it's a real struggle. I'm just going in with a lighter shade of concealer here very lightly around my eyebrows and under my eyes and my nose just cause I wanna get like a more bright eye look just around my face. And then for my eyebrows, I'm gonna go in with this brush right here, um, just so I can get a nice clean line around them here. And that will hopefully also help make them look like a better shape. This is like my go-to on how to do my eyebrows and it's about as good as it gets when it comes to my eyebrows. It works enough for me, but I would like, like they don't look terrible, but I would really like to I know they could look better. Like, I love like that. When I see someone's eye, when I see someone's makeup looks or their eyeshadow looks, the first thing I always notice is like their eyebrows. And if they have like those awesome, like almost ombre, like really perfectly shaped eyebrows, that always makes that eye look like look so much better to me. And I think I'm just like, I'm attracted to that type of eyebrow, but I just can't accomplish it myself yet. So we're gonna work on it. I'm just blending this concealer up a little bit. So it's not such a harsh line on my face here. Just blending it into that foundation. Okay, all right. So now we're just gonna set my face with powder. Um, this is the Cover FX, which I love Cover FX um, setting powders because they have no talc in them and they have no flashback. They're made for like filming, I feel like. Like they really um, are awesome. But this is the light illuminating powder. So it has a little bit of like a, a shimmery kind of highlighty type uh, quality to it, which I really like. And um, they do have a translucent one in matte, a matte finish and a illuminating finish. I like to go with the light just because it gives me a little bit of a bronze on my skin because I am so fair without like a crazy amount. And it just gives me a nice um, subtle kind of glow that I like without being too intense. I'm just putting this on with a, um, a big powder brush. And um, you guys have probably heard me say this before, but I always like to um, set my face with just a loose amount of powder. I don't bake necessarily, but I do like to set my face with powder. Um, it's It just kind of sets you up before you're about to use all your powder products with like a nice dry um, base instead of having all that foundation and concealer and wet product that the powders just kind of kind of stick to. 
instead of like spread around and that's also why like people recommend even when you put like eyelid um eyelid primer on you should take like a nude or a very close to your eyelid um, eyeshadow color and put that over top of that before you do your shadows um, so if you didn't know that that's a little hack sorry my nose ring is sticking out there um if you're having issues with your eye shadow sticking to your eyelid it's probably because you need to uh you're skipping that step okay i'm gonna get a little extra under my eyes and that's that powder everywhere that's okay though I'm gonna go in with my bronzer, which I am using. Uh, Coffee Bronzer in Mocha by Wikilux. Um, I really like this brand. I use it a lot. It's a, I, I would call it now that it's in Target, I guess it would be considered more of like a drugstore brand, but it's a higher end drugstore brand. It's, it's an indie brand. It's not necessarily cheap. I think this is like $20 or something. It's really good for contour and um, bronzing, bronzing. I'm just going in, I'm doing the temples here. I come down and kind of attach them. So it almost looks like a three. If you think about it, you're like one, two, three here. Um, and I'm gonna do it on the other side too. And we're going for just like kind of really a natural um, face because I really want the eyes to be the focal point of it. About the eyebrows. Well, not the eyeballs, but the eyelids. So I'm just bronzing up my nose here. I'm gonna take a kabuki brush and just buff this all out so I don't have any harsh lines. I tend to like to have a more on the dramatic side of uh, contouring right here just because when I wear my wigs and stuff, you can't see it as much because my wigs kind of cover parts of my face. So I just like to have a nice um, bold um, bronze. And then for blush, I'm gonna use this uh, Ciate London Marbled Light in Burnt. And it's a really pretty glowy pink. And I think it's a nice light pink. That'll go good with this um, light, um, eye look that we are we are going to attempt i keep saying attempt because guys it might be nothing like the picture very possible a uh, highlight i'm going to go in with the juvia's place in it's the nubian by juvia's place loose highlighter in cleo i love their um i love their brand i'm using their eyeshadow palette today too but i love their highlighter like their loose highlighter i never used to like loose highlighter but the shades that they had, I was like, oh, I really want to try these. Maybe I can figure out how like to use these and like them. And I always use pressed highlighters. And now I feel like pressed highlighters, like I was missing out this whole time because their highlighters are by far amazing. So if you don't have them, get them. They're really, really amazingly priced too. Um, and they always have like sales and stuff going on. So if you don't see a sale right now, chances are next week, there'll probably be one. We're gonna go into this eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and put a eye primer on here. This is the um, Pro Longwear Paint Pot by um, MAC in the Painterly. And we're gonna just get this on here. And this is just gonna help, especially since we're doing like bright, vivid colors, I wanna make sure that they have something to, um, something to um, stick to nicely and all of that, so. And a little bit goes a long way on this stuff, guys. You don't need a ton. Like, I think I've been using the same one for, it's probably gonna expire, honestly, before I use it all. Okay, I'm gonna be using this uh, Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 here in the shade Conch. I'm just gonna take a blending brush here and just go over my, okay, so, so it's gonna go blue, green, yellow, orangey, and pink, and purple is right here. I'm gonna start with the blue, and then I'm gonna hit the purple, and then we'll go into the green. Yeah, we're gonna do this corner here first, and we're gonna see what happens. Um, so I'm using the Warrior 3 by Juvia's Place. It has all the colors that we need in it which is perfect. I only need to use one palette, which I love. This is the blue we're gonna use. Um, the only, oh, this is the darker blue we're gonna use. Uh, green, just make sure I have all the colors. Purple, yellow, 
orange. This looks like I can make this an orange color and then a pink. So it's got everything we need. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to go in with the um, lighter blue first and then I'm going to go in with a blending brush here. I'm actually going to use this one right here. This is the Morphe M441. And I usually don't mess with blues guys. So this is going to be an experiment for me here for sure. We'll see. And okay. So on the bottom, the purple comes and then the blue. So we're only going to be focusing on the top right now with this blue. And then the purple, I need a darker blue. Looks like darker blue first and then a purple. Let me get this darker blue with a smaller brush right here. This is a Morphe brush and it came in a kit so it doesn't have a number on it, but this is what it looks like here. And we're gonna go in with this blue. This is gonna be the only shimmer I think that we're gonna be using. And we're gonna press that in right here on this crease just to give it That darker blue right there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. It's not as dark. I would like a darker blue situation. All right. I found a darker blue. I'm going to use this Morphe palette here, guys, to get this, um, to get this darker blue on my eye because I just don't feel like that shimmer was dark enough. So this is almost like a a navy which i think will be a little bit oh yeah that's much better all right so i was trying to do this with just one palette but unfortunately that is not the case that's okay and we're just gonna blend blend that in a little bit we're gonna go in with this purple i'm gonna use the same little blending brush here and purples just be careful they are purple so and you just want to get right here and we're bringing that down. So I'm just kind of taking my whole brush and just patting. And then the blue was underneath. So we're gonna take this brush. I don't see the dark blue underneath. I'm only seeing the light blue. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna use a little bit of a smaller blending brush so I can be a little bit more precise. This is the M514. And this is the next color we're gonna be doing is this green which freaks me out, but we're doing it. It is a very pretty green. It's a little darker, like a little bit more of a true green This one, the, than the one in the picture, which is like more of a lime green, but I like it. It's not bad. And then we're gonna go with the yellow. We can't be that picky. I'm running out of room for color already because I have uh, either a short eyelid or I'm using too big of a brushes. So <laughs> that's okay. Whatever. It's whatever guys. I still have to do like what orange and pink. Okay. We'll see. <sighs> see if we can get this in here. Oh yeah. Okay. We're going to use, this is also Juvia's place. This is the festival palette, which is gorgeous. We're going to use this very insanely amazing looking orange. We're going to use a smaller brush now that we're getting into the more corner of my eyes. We're going to use this um, brush again that we were using earlier for under. Good choice. I think I like, I'm gonna go back to the other um, Warrior 3 palette to get this pink out. Um, that uh, Festival palette had a pink in it too, which I was contemplating on using. And now that I'm at the corner, I'm just gonna bring that pink around and I'm gonna come back around and do the colors um, that I'm using, which I'm cool with. And then it's just a matter of if I can recreate it on the other side, <laughs> cause that might not happen. We'll see. I'm gonna try my darndest. <sighs> All right, let's clean it up and see how it looks. Because I feel like I can't really truly tell if I love it. This I'm gonna use, I'm gonna take this um, brush right here, just a small concealer brush, so that I can just be very precise with where I'm putting this underneath my eye. And I can clean this up. All right, we're gonna clean up the top part here a little bit and then we're going to, um, okay, so we're gonna take some concealer and we're just gonna clean up this um, crease so that we can do the glitter. I wanna do a complete one eye complete for you before I start on the other eye so you can really see what it's gonna look like. Um, so now we're just going in with concealer and that same brush that we used for my under eye. And we're just 
Um, if you still see color, that's fine. We're gonna be putting glitter over top of it, so it's not gonna be crazy. You really just wanna make sure you don't have too much concealer, so you might wanna clean your brush off once you apply the concealer and then go back in with that same clean brush just to get rid of that excess so you don't have too much. So now we have our space that we're gonna be putting glitter on. Um, okay, and then they have some glitter on the inner corner, the same glitter that they're using there. So the glitter I'm going to be using today is not gonna be as purple as the one she's using. This is going to be, this is a loose glitter that I added some um, um, product to that makes it more of like a um, pressed glitter. Like it has some binding agent in it. Um, and it's cosmetic grade glitter. I'm also gonna just for a good measure so that it stays on, I'm going to be taking some um, glue and just very lightly getting some glue on my lid to help keep that glitter on and keep it from moving because um, my stuff on my middle of my eye likes to ride up because of the way my eyes are shaped. So um, we're gonna go in with the glitter. We're gonna be using uh, this brush right here, which is a Morphe brush that is also from a set so it doesn't have a number on it. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out what the set is so I can tell you guys. Um, it came in a bag, like if I went online, I'd be able to know and then I can tell you what these are because I feel like I use them a lot in my videos, but I never know what they are to uh, let you guys know. And this is like a, more of a clear glitter than what they're using in this video, but I love it because it has all the rainbow colors in in it. Like it, the flecks of it are very like rainbow and has like pinks and purples and greens and all that. So you can also like sometimes depending on what glitter you're using, sometimes honestly works better if you just use your hand um, to apply it. I just don't have too much on cause it's just gonna fall off all over my face all day. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with a smaller little brush here. Um, this one right here, which is a Terry Miyahira 15. Her brushes are really, really nice too, by the way, guys, if you're um, not familiar with her brushes, they're really nice. Um, I watched like a YouTube unboxing of like, she has a subscription service for her brushes. And uh, I was like really intrigued and impressed. So I signed up just to see how they were and they're really nice. All right. All right, so this is what we have so far. I think the rainbow aspect of it looks really cool. I think that it looks a little weird right now because I have no black eyeliner or eyelashes or anything on right now. Um, I am gonna come up into here with some highlighter and just clean it up a little bit and then we're gonna do the other eye. Um. And then we're just gonna clean up the highlighter down here um, and the blushes because I feel like I've had my hands touching that a lot. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go in like that. Just a little bit more blush, and a little bit more highlighter. And like I said, like, I want my eyes to be the main part. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put lashes on. I'm gonna be using magnetic lashes today. Um, I am using Leah, these ones right here from the Chelsea Smith um, Valentina collection. There goes the glue, because I always do that. I hold it up and forget that it's not like attached in there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna see how this works with the glitter. It might give me a little bit of trouble, so we're gonna be careful here. The biggest thing I'd recommend when using this with glitter is just make sure you clean the tip off before you put it back into the tube because otherwise it's going to get glitter in your tube like permanently. Okay. All right, so we're gonna let that dry for a minute and then we're gonna throw those lashes on. Okay, lipstick, we'll do lips while we're waiting. I'm just gonna do a cool nude lip. I'm gonna be using these two shades, Carmelo and Angelo in uh, Stilla, which I literally wanna be buried in um, Carmelo. <laughs> like it is my absolute favorite lipstick. So, um, it's just like the 
perfect pinky nude. It's gorgeous, I love it. I'm overdrawing just a little bit. Well, not really overdrawing, but I'm getting really, really close to like the end of my lip so that I can give the appearance of my lips a little bit um, fuller than they are. And then I'm gonna go over with the uh, darker shade in the corners here and just bring it in. It's not a huge difference, it just, I like the two. The shade, the color that they both come out, this one's a little bit more of a brownie nude and just the color that they put off is nice. And I'm just gonna take my um, bronzer here and I'm gonna use that to, um, in the corners of my lips to, uh, we're essentially just giving the appearance of my lips are a little bit fuller. And if you do this in the corner with some bronzer, it uh, shortens your lips and makes them look more pouted this way because it it's an illusion. It makes them look not as long. And then we're just gonna go over with a little bit of uh, this gloss. This is the Busy Gal Gloss by Tarte in Payday. And we're just gonna put a little bit of that on here. Used a little too much there. That's kind of gross. All right, so. Um, oh, the last thing I wanted to do too was just to help with the under lip situation, which I should have done before I put the gloss on because now I have to be really careful or it's gonna, or it's gonna try to stick. I'm just gonna take a really small brush here. I'm gonna take a little bit of my bronzer and I'm put it, you know, I just bought this um, lip gloss. I was hoping it wasn't gonna be sticky, but it's a little sticky. Right here, that's in the middle. Very small amount. Clean your brush off. And blend it in. And it just creates a shadow underneath your lip that gives you more of a pout under your lip. Um, you can do that without doing any of the other stuff and it'll just give you a little bit more of a shape. You just wanna make sure um, you don't do it too big. But yeah, so let's put some hair on so we look kind of put together here. Lashes, let's put the lashes on. Sorry guys. So these are magnetic lashes. So um, they pop on really, really nice and easy. If you haven't tried magnetic lashes, oh, you know what though? Um, put mascara on your eyes first, especially since I was using concealer to do that inner um, cut crease. There is, <laughs> there is concealer on my um, eyelashes. So when you put those black eyelashes on, if you don't put uh, mascara on first, your eyelashes are gonna look really weird. So this is the Big Ego um, mascara by Tarte. Sorry, talking to myself. See how this kind of is starting to like migrate up? That's kind of what my eyes always do. If you have any suggestions on how to keep that from happening, please let me know because I'm always down to try something. Just trying to darken this, um, the colors on the bottom up a little bit because now they're kind of getting lost in that um, mascara and everything. So I just want them to be nice and predominant, especially like, I like that orange and that yellow. I might just do like, a, my next look I might do just with that orange and yellow because I really like the colors of them. There we go. Oh yeah, much better. Okay, all right. So let's put a wig on because we look crazy right now with this cap. Um, I don't know who we should go with. All right, so we're gonna be putting on Tori who is a mess right now. Lord, I think she'll be good for this. I love her hairline. It looks so natural. I did pluck her part a little bit when I got her, but other than that, I didn't have to pluck her um, hairline at all. I just cut her and can throw her on. I don't have to glue her down. All right. So, setting spray and we're done. We're gonna go dewy. So we're gonna be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills dewy setting spray. Okay. And that is that. So this is the final look. These are the eyes, this is what we got. And I really feel like, I mean, it's not the same, obviously. It's not the same, but it's definitely closer. 
than I thought I was gonna get. So, win-win. It's not a, <laughs> it's not a jumbled like brown mess. It actually has like colors and you can see the color differences and I feel like it's rainbowy. Um, and I really like it. And I like the glitter. So yeah, so let me know what you guys think below in the comments. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'll put all the products that we used in the description below. Can for you guys so you guys can easily find them. And if you have any suggestions for um, looks in the future, make sure you comment those looks below. Comment those looks below and I will absolutely love to try some of those. Um, any other suggestions you have for videos that you guys would love to see, um, I always am looking for ideas. Wanna make sure that these stay relevant to you guys and what you're looking for. Um, also, just make sure that you uh, like this video if you liked it and subscribe um, if you wanna see more of these videos. And also just make sure you hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time I post a video Video and you can kind of it's like a set it and forget it um, so yeah so thanks for watching and um, I hope you guys liked this look and I'll see you guys on the next video bye